Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now in this pick a card, we're gonna be doing what messages do your guides have for you? So I am doing $10 readings now, all that info will be down below, including a link that will send you guys to a video just showing you guys how I do my readings before you guys go ahead and purchase one with me. But let's get started. We have four groups here. Pile one, two, three, and four. And let's get started on pile one. Okay, hello group one. Let's hop right into your reading here. If you guys chose this pile, you guys chose the Ace of Swords. I love this card. We have the Six of Swords. Infamy. Milk and Honey reversed. And Magician in the Mirror reversed. Okay. So group one messages from your guides i feel like right now you guys are in transition maybe going through some changes you guys may be trying to manifest some things into your life as well and it could not be working okay whenever i get the magician in the reverse this to me is um not having confidence in oneself not believing in your abilities some of you guys may feel like you don't have the resources to get to where you want to go or who you want to be but the thing that your guides want to tell you is that it's not true and that you guys are actually making moves it's what i'm getting here too with these two swords cards is that there's a need to change perspectives here with the Ace of Swords, some of you guys may need to cut things out. Some of you guys just may need to um, move away as well as what I'm getting here. But I'm seeing a lot of movement, especially for those of you who are trying to achieve a goal and it's just taking some time. Things aren't working and you're just wondering, you know, like, what's going on? Um, the advice from your guides is to keep pushing, is what I'm getting here. Do not give up. Do not give in to um, laziness as well as what I'm getting with milk and honey in the reverse. I feel like you guys are already in a good place. Um, I know we're in quarantine right now, so we're all home. But just to look on the bright side of things, have gratitude. And I know it's easier said than done here. But I'm seeing a low sense of confidence. I still see you guys striving forward. Keep on pushing. And to have clarity on things, okay? Um, know the truth and there may be some truth that does come out or just some type of aha moment that may be going to free you in some type of way here okay so have confidence push forward and you guys actually do have something to offer okay so pile one that is all i have for you here thank you so much for watching and let's move on to group two okay hello pile two welcome to your reading let's hop right in here if you guys chose this pile you guys chose the two of cups reversed the devil reversed hostilities deep knowing and seeing god okay so for group two messages from your guides what I'm getting here is that you guys need to have boundaries, okay? There may be people trying to control you or things that are unfair, but your intuition knows about a person, people, or just things that are not very healthy for you, okay? And you feel like you may need to defend your place. You feel like you always have to be on your toes here, getting a little hostile. Um, the message that I'm also getting with seeing God is to turn to your guides, okay? They are here to assist you, is what I'm getting here. And with deep knowing and seeing God, there's animals on these cards, so your intuition is strong at this time. Your instincts are very strong. Um, so if it's going off about a Capricorn, a Cancer, a love connection, business partner, friend, your intuition is correct, okay? So have boundaries is what I'm getting with the devil reversed. Um, get out of things that are not filling your cup. And I know that's easier said than done, but there's a situation or a person here that is depleting you, that is not filling up your cup, okay? And you know exactly what this is. There's going to be a few of you guys watching, so it could pertain to all areas of life here. But 
have boundaries is a main one that I'm getting. Um, and you know what's good for you and what's not. Your guides are here to assist you. It's just the matter of actually calling upon them here. With the Two of Cups reversed, some of you guys may need to deepen your relationship with yourself instead of, you know, turning to other people is what I'm getting here. Self-love is definitely what's needed, but some of you guys may be getting out of marriages, relationships, or abusive ones as well, so you may not feel very confident or feel like you can give this to yourself right now, so call upon your guides for help and assistance because they're here. So pile two, that is all I have for you here. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to move on to pile three. Okay, hello pile three, let's hop right into your reading here. If you guys chose this pile, you guys chose the death card, Scorpio energy. We have the chariot, Cancerian energy. Second chakra, this is like my queen of wands card. To be fair, reversed. Approaching guru. Okay. So, pal three, what I'm getting is you guys may feel like things are being taken away from you, feeling stripped a little bit, or you guys are just going through some changes right now, whether that be externally or internally, okay? The message from your guides that I'm getting is to keep pushing, have confidence in yourself, rise with the chariot is what I'm getting here. And also do not um, let your emotions take control, okay? Now's the time to think logically and also to move with purpose, with passion. In regards to legal battles, things like that, this is like my Libra card. There could be a Libra here who's giving you some trouble or just the law, but I do feel like you will come out victorious in it. Some of you guys just may need to put in a little bit extra work or just hang on there or actually assert yourselves is what I'm getting, okay? So keep pushing. With approaching guru, I feel like you guys are almost close to your destination is what I'm getting here with approaching guru. And also to ask your um, guides for assistance. Call upon them is what I'm getting with approaching guru as well. So have confidence in yourself. If things aren't really working out in your favor, um, these are just changes that we go through. And make sure you are being fair to others as well with the chariot, you know, with this combo here. Um, we may have a goal in mind that we may run people over, right? So make sure you are being fair, make sure you are not running people over if you get what I mean and to keep pushing so group three that is all I have for you here thank you so much for watching and we're gonna move on to group four okay hello group four welcome to your reading let's hop right in it if you guys chose this pal you guys chose the wheel of fortune love this card the four of swords Fork in the road. Man holding a coin reversed. Material elements. Okay. So pile four, I like this. Um, I want to talk about the Wheel of Fortune. So luck is on your side, okay? There could also be some karma playing out. Maybe some good karma. I also want to say with the Wheel of Fortune is to roll with the punches. Go with the flow, go with the changes here is, is what I'm saying, but luck is on your side, karma is on your side, and you guys may be getting some money or some gifts in regards to um, just luck being on your side, okay? Things working in your favor or are going to work out in your favor here. But also what I'm seeing with man holding a coin in the four of swords, you guys need to be very smart in regards to your investments. You guys need to, you know, not just splurge, okay? Do not let your emotions take hold. With the Four of Swords, he's like really pondering, he's really thinking. So make good choices. Um, there could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you need to see the truth about or that you guys are going to see the truth about. 
Some of you guys are getting out of an abusive relationship with one is what I'm getting. But I'm seeing money. Money, money, money come through. Fork in the road. This is like my death card kind of in this deck. And with the Wheel of Fortune, yes, change is going on, but you guys may feel stuck in regards to where the hell to move. Are you going to make the right decision? Is this the right path? With the Four of Swords, again, to think very logically, to not just hop into things, but look at your surroundings, look at your options. Is this right for me, you know? Is what I'm getting here. And with material elements, I feel like you guys are going to be looking very attractive, um, looking very rich, and just abundance is going to be attracted to you here is what I'm seeing. Some of you guys may need to get out of your comfort zone in regards to a decision that you need to make as well as what I'm getting. So it's looking good, Pile 4. That's all I have for you for your messages from your guides. And get at me for those readings. Thanks, guys. Bye.